Hello, hello, we have a new chapter at the Good Dr. Stone. This one is called Bonds on the High Wire. Um, they're using a whole mess of different transport systems to get themselves through the Andes. Is it the Andes? Oh my gosh, I don't know. The mountains, the mountains in, in South America. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, I think it's the Andes. I think they're going through the Andes. Anyways, um, before they were on motorbikes, the motorbikes have become unfeasible. So Senku proposed the preposterous, uh, a ropeway. They're going to build a ropeway between these mountains, which doesn't make any sense to me. Because a ropeway is like, there's a station here and a station there, and the, the thing goes on the rope from station to station. But how do you build the station there without defeating the purpose of the entire road, ropeway? Because, you know, you're already there, right? I don't know. We're going to find out. <laughs> Um, but their plan is, as soon as they can get across these mountains, they will be safe and secure in the, the jungle, and uh, they won't be spottable from the plane, which indeed the plane is taking off right now in hot pursuit. Oh, okay, okay. It's a little Donkey Kong Country action! It's a little Donkey Kong Country action! Woo! <laughs> um, using Kohaku's cheat code level navigational parkour type skills. I'm really glad that that became relevant again. And, and I like this little panel going, don't forgetting. Every day for years I hauled hot spring water for Ruri across the mountains back home. This entire climb without any trouble. So this is how they're going to do it. Uh, Kohaku alone brings the rope, sets up whenever she needs to, and then everyone else is hauled across the ropeway. Cute. Look at this Donkey Kong action, though. Yeehaw, Donkey Kong Country. Great game. <laughs> love that game. Want to play that game. <clears throat> I love to bounce off tire. I love to roll tire in position, bounce off tire, and find a secret. What greater joy is there in a young child's mind than finding a secret by positioning a tire? So now, uh, what's his face here? Ukyo fires off an arrow. Wait, that dinky string. That's just a guy to send the real wire across. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I like this little shot of them yelling at each other in Kohaku's tiny, tiny dialogue. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, it's the, the can phone. Did you ever make those as a kid? It works shockingly well. Um, a very low-tech solution, but uh, an endearing and, and enduring one. And connect as a landline. You can send the vibrations of your voice through a string just like you can through the air, just like you can through uh, the, the modulation of electricity. It's a nice low-tech solution. Okay, so what does Kohaku do next? Ooh, now they roll using one of their... I love the way that they're reusing all the parts of the tires, too. The entire motorcycle has, has become the ropeway now. Using the, the rim to uh, ferry along a, a thicker rope, which is then used as the cable for this, this motorcycle converted ropeway. It's beautiful. It, like, what a, a lovely sense of adventure. Just this one panel has of... of Seeking out into a new place and, and rebuilding and, and making do with what you have. And, and it's, it's so good. Police slide around the stretch cable hub on a simple mechanism. Use area walls to transport materials for forestry. Cool. Only danger is the weight limit. Okay, okay. So it's going to take a while. Ferrying them one at a time, each little stopgap. Give it to the power team with me, Kohaka, and Tsukasa up there. You can haul up two 100 kilo loads. Low sweat. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just make the machines do it. We're made of carbon and steel. Light yet sturdy, elegant. But what's the max load that our Kingdom of Science ropeway can bear? That's about 160 kilograms. Okay. So they're going to try to figure this out, how to make as few trips as possible. A little mathematical problem. Um, as before, I think there's an opportunity here for like a, a clever little mathematical uh, solution. Like I was hoping they would do with the weighing problem, that there's like a way that you can uh, set up pairs of comparison so that you, uh, you, you make like much less total weighs than you might think to figure out the actual ranking of everyone's weight. 
maybe there's like a similar thing here, some way to optimize the pairs and the, the parts and stuff. And then just the numbers to consider. The real issue is Xeno. Aha, aha. Now it's kind of becoming one of those problems where it's like, how do you take the grain, the chicken, and the fox across the river without leaving the chicken and the fox together or the grain and the chicken together at any one time? It's like those puzzles. I like those sort of puzzles too. I just love puzzles. Oh my gosh, you just get the brain going. It feels so good when the brain is going. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I, just, I didn't even scroll down, but it's there. <laughs> Ukiyo knows about it. I didn't even look. I, I don't have to scroll down, but I didn't even... It's, it's right there on the page. We're, we're <laughs> I'm on the same mind as the author. Traveler needs to cross a river. But the boat can only carry one you plus one piece of cargo, and you have three things with you. The fox and chicken alone. The fox will chat on another chicken. Chicken is left with the corn. What can add a corn feast? How can you cross the river without losing anything? It's a famous puzzle. Never heard of it. Try solving it just for fun. Okay, I'm pretty sure I know what to do. But we'll, uh, we'll solve it. Okay. Install later. So we have... Oh, wait. Hold on. I have my drawing tablet. <laughs> we have... We have chicken. Man, I feel like the drawing tablet was not worth it. Um, to, to bust it out, we have the bag of corn. And we have the fox. Oh gosh, hold on. <laughs> Alright, and then we have the river. And we have our boat. And then we are we are farmer chan. Okay, so first we take this. And the chicken across. Okay. And then we're going to come back across by ourselves, leaving the chicken here, which is apparently is fine. The chicken won't run off. Now we, we take the fox with us. And you're like, oh, oh no. The fox is going to eat the chicken. But I have an idea. Now, oh, now. Now, now we're gonna take me and the chicken back across. Oh, no, wait, no, that's not right. Um, no, wait, hold on. Uh, now, now, wait, hold. Now we take, now, yeah, now, okay, hold on. Now we take the chicken no. Now we take the the fox. No. Now we take the corn. And the the farmer. Okay. And then the boat is gone. And now we take. The farmer and the chicken go back. Come here, you. And then the, the farmer goes back. And then we take the fox. Okay. And then, and then, now we come back by ourselves. Where'd our head go? It doesn't matter. And then we get the chicken. Aha. Uh -huh. We've done it. Don't you see that we've done it? <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I thought they might give us the solution. Uh, that, that, that puzzle is in the British Office, which is a show I've watched like five times all the way through. Um, so I, 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 I remember it from that. It took me a little, a little remembery, but it works. 
Biggest cause for concern would be carrying Hyoga and Zeno. Unless we forget, Hyoga killed Tsukasa in the name of his ideals. We can't be too sure what he's thinking now. He and Zeno get a chance to chat alone. I don't want to deserve the most. Ooh, okay. Hyoga killed Tsukasa? <laughs> Chelsea is uh, getting up to speed with the lore of the series in a very troubling and overwhelming way. Um, and this is maybe an opportunity to fill in uh, new readers to the series as to uh, what the deal is with yoga. Um, yeah, there we go! <laughs> so much killing, killing! Oh, yes. Good, good, good. Okay, okay, okay. Kohaku loves Suika! Aww! This is the most wholesome relationship on this whole thing. Everything else is just like one-sided, unreciprocated love, the killing. Oh, and the lifelong buds between Taiju and Senku, of course. Huh, okay. <laughs> Zeno killed Senku. He had him sniped. <laughs> Yoga killed Tsukasa. Tsukasa killed Senku. Senku killed Tsukasa. Um, when he petrified him to, to save his life later, but he did technically kill him. But, but a lot of killing going on here, don't you think? <laughs> very, very, very fun <laughs> little Taika again getting hauled off by Kesuki. Um, you have to do manual labor too. You are part of the crafting team. There's no one we need to talk to for a while, so you gotta do this now. <laughs> the only problem is Zeno, right? Whoever rides with him has to make sure he's hogtied. Said someone in for the battle team, we're in for a bad time. Mmm, okay, this is tough. Weight limit's only 60 capacity. <laughs> we're not reenacting that river crossing puzzle. Because <laughs> uh, Kohaku is, um, you know, probably light enough to go with uh, Zeno and definitely strong enough to subdue him. But Zeno and Hyoga, they were scheming. That's the automatic feeder. My cat just got some food. Don't sweat the details, especially since we're on a tight schedule. Okay, okay. So the opportunity for betrayal is emerging here. That Hyoga and Zeno could scheme. They could betray. Lovely shot of Case Key and, and Chrome. Really celebrating riding up there. All these fun little pairings. Mm. <laughs> but what were they talking about? Oh! Oh, oh no. Suika Falls. Holy crap, whoa! <laughs> this is a uh, suddenly huge emergency. Okay, Kohaku, really deft maneuvers, super accuracy, manages to snag Suika. Ooh, okay. It's a total accident, but now in this moment, at the top of that new ropeway, there's no one who could fight back if need be. Tuhyoko could betray us, that no risk to himself. I can't fight while I'm holding Suika. Even what? I wouldn't fall, survive a fall into this chasm. Jeez, this is suddenly very, very tense. And I like that the tension has emerged right from this, this ropeway crossing puzzle situation. That it's all about the configuration of people on any given side. And that, of course, at the other side of the ropeway, they're, they're witnessing this helplessly. Oh, but Hyoga saves them. Good boy, Hyoga. Consider me a Hyoga fan. Hmm, 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 hmm. Funsies. <laughs> Funsies indeed. Okay. I think Hyoga is making a good bet on the future here, though. It's maybe an ego-driven bet. Like, consider the fact that Hyoga lost to Senku and is probably a little embarrassed by that and is now thinking, like, uh, well, of course, nobody else could ever beat Senku. Senku's the best. He has this real protagonist energy to him. So, you know, only I... I could only ever be defeated by a protagonist type like that. Why wouldn't I bet on him? Origin of this mess isn't far now. Our kingdom of science is united as one team. All that's left is to cross the mountains. Hopefully that massive natural barrier will be waiting for us. Okay. Finally, our chance to leave them in our tracks. Well, not in our tracks. That's the whole idea, Chrome. Is that you don't leave tracks anymore. 
<laughs> you're, you're just lost in the, the rainforest. Amazonian rainforest. We made it. This is our win. Cool. Oh, that's exciting. Okay, so I, I want a lot of jungle action. I've been talking about this before. I just, I just love the, the jungle setting as a place for adventure. I want guerrilla tactics, Stanley versus Tsukasa deep in the rainforest. Stuff like that it just sounds super fun. And uh, we will look forward to it soon enough. Just a few more days until the next chapter. So see you then. Bye-bye for now.